Hey guys, Tim here from Canon Tech TV, back with another projector tips and tricks video for you. So I've been reviewing projectors for over four years now. So I wanna make this playlist to give you guys some tips and some information in a quick, concise manner. So today we're going over what can you basically hook up to your projector and a little bit about the inputs. So essentially what you can hook up to your projector is pretty much anything you could hook up to a TV. So most projectors now, unless you're really looking at very, very budget models, they all have HDMI inputs on them. Some of them have up to two, even on the budget end. So you can hook up multiple things. So that includes, you know, laptop, cable boxes, gaming system. So you can hook up your PlayStation, your Xbox, even like a Nintendo. You can hook up your phone. You do need a special type of cable for that typically, regardless of whether it's Android or uh, Apple, but you do need to have an MHL cable it's typically referred to. There are some limitations with that, however, too, with an MHL cable, typically some of your streaming apps and services may not work over that cable from your phone. Some of those are for like mobile only. And if it detects that things like Netflix and that may not work, you know, YouTube usually works. You can still show your files on your phone and you know, your own pictures and things like that. But just a disclaimer there. You, know, you can also hook up things like a DVD player. You know, I think I mentioned your Roku, things like that, Apple TV. So that's all cool. You also do usually have like a VGA cable still. So you can hook up if your computer has, you know, some older methods, doesn't have HDMI. And a lot of these will also have a USB port as well as like an SD card slot. So you can also hook up and put in your media that way. That way, if you have any movies on those things or, you know, you want to do a picture slideshow, you can use that as well to access that. Most projectors too have have an audio out port so with that you can basically use an aux cable and just send your sound out to an external speaker so you can hook up external speakers and then you can greatly improve your audio as well it can just be a simple speaker like a small portable one that you've got or you can you know hook it up to essentially like a sound bar or some computer speakers that might even have a little subwoofer and that will greatly improve your audio coming out of the projector as well now i have another video on that so if that's something you're interested in i talked a little bit more about that here in the video popping up I also have this whole two minute playlist of projector tips and tricks popping up here at the end. So be sure to check out all the other videos. But like I said, I review projectors on this channel, I have a bunch of projector content like this. So if this is something you're into, definitely hit that subscribe button down there below. Like the video if it was helpful and I'll see you guys on the next one.